to Tabeka Nigusu Museum. I'm your today's scary guide. Uh, but before the whole start, tour starts, first, did you notice the work behind me? Okay, actually, this is the work made by Deng Huifen, the very famous artist today in Taiwan. He just used some daily object, for example, like strip, to play signs to make it become colorful and very picturesque. Um, but today, this is not the work anymore. Actually, this is a lucky design for you. And now let's move into this entrance. Actually, this is not a normal entrance. This is the symbolization of the ceramic gary. This is the middle section of the snack kiln. Um, don't worry, just follow me. And while you move into this kiln, you can just touch it to feeling those ashes being imitated on the kiln. One of the most crucial process is the, the clay have to be fired. Of course, we got a different view in the past time. For example, like the husks, a uh, hays, uh, weeds, reeds, and also some of the acacia, bamboos. Of course, you can also find the prominent fuel here in Inga in the past time, the coal. So, so many fuels we got. How to choose it? Well, it just depends on the location of the kiln. So now, let's go and find a traditional kiln, snack kiln. This is snack kiln, the most traditional one here in Taiwan. It's been brought in 18th century. So usually the potters will set everything here at the middle section, and then they will just uh, put add the fuel from the first section, which we call the fire bus. So gradually through the about uh, after one month, the whole kiln will be just, the temperature in the kiln will just be rise uh, again, again, and then over to the 1000 Celsius degrees. This is the map of Taiwan, purposely even put as the transverse one. So now we can follow the Chinese portrait steps gradually to grow, bring those techniques from southern of Taiwan, from Tainan, Nantou, Niaoli, Inge, and then last up they got Beitou. Now we are at the second gallery, we are going to know much more uh, about the development here in Inga, which is also the International Ceramic Center today. But before we get to know much more about that, First, I will take you to, uh, through the experience area of Chenokyong, because you can uh, know the, how does that feel um, the heat inside of the kiln. Now we are at the traditional kitchen that we used about 50 years ago till today. And here you can find many different uh, domestic wares we use through that time. And even though here you can find traditional stove, which we only use the bamboos and the woods to keep them fire. Here you can also find very interesting parts, the traditional refrigerator, which is only the cabinet. We can just put the uh, food here until um, the next meal. And here, because usually we'll reduce some cockroach, mouse, and also the ants come here. So here, under the cabinet, you can find there are four trays made of ceramics to keep uh, the, those ants away. Since the colonial period began, Actually, there are many, many different techniques and also the equipment be brought to here into Taiwan. This one, what we call the multi firing, means have been fired so many times. So, usually, after being biscued through the first firing, what we have to do is to glaze the copper wool part to the whole one and then we follow the second firing. After the second firing, we should to make the different layer side and then we will use this. Uh, the zircon oxide to finish this part to make the different layers and next follow the third firing. After we finish this part, we can just 
uh, separate the different glaze at different temperature and then last one we just uh, accomplish apply this part as we call it golden glaze to through the last fire. So because it's been fired so many times, usually it have been takes about three months to four months if you, you got the rainy days. So that's what we call it. And this can be a uh, representative uh, one of the most uh, mature techniques here today in India.台湾的制陶历史大概已经有两百多年了博物馆的展示把台湾的陶瓷发展的用一个比较互动式我们有很好的一个展示